Hey guys, welcome back to episode 5. Um, let me get you caught up on where I am right now uh, in this week's video. This is digging out for the French train at the front. Gonna put traveling like we did at the back. Quite a lot happening today. We got our stair delivery, which is sitting there. So basically, that's going to change the direction of these stairs that are currently there. Then in the kitchen, the boys have put up acros for some steels. And as they were making the hole, they realised there was some damp, didn't you? Yes. So, what are you doing? Uh, basically, yeah, when we knocked out the hole, which is where the steel has to come out of the wall in order for us to get it into the other wall. Um, so we knocked the hole out, then we found that the bricks were really, really wet. I uh, came outside, had a look at the guttering, uh, which we've partly removed now. You can see it in a mess on the floor there. Um, it was leaking in quite a few places, um, which basically meant every time it rained, it's just chucking loads of water onto the wall and the bricks are just completely sodden with water. So I'm now replacing the guttering just temporarily. We're going to be putting it into a drain. Um, and yeah, so hopefully we can dry out that brickwork. We've got a fan on it at the moment, um, blowing, blowing it in just to dry it out. And then hopefully once that's dry out, we can get the steel in. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> nice hole. Those are the steels there. So David just installed the new gutter in. Well done, mate. And I'm out here in my slippers. <laughs> in now in the kitchen the wall is mostly removed we have as a result all of these very very heavy blocks Some of the rubble that's come out of the house. It's basically down here. The steel downstairs has been installed now. And you can see um, David and his dad have packed in the concrete just above it. Hey guys, just a quick update for you, we're about to head out. Uh, this morning we've been working in the kitchen, um, the steel's in and we've been tidying up so I'll just show you what we've been doing. Wall's pretty much out, we've just been taking all the rubble outside and the massive bricks. Yeah, kitchen's all open now, so now we're got to rethink our kitchen. <laughs> 
So these are all the bricks from that wall that's come out. They're really heavy. Acros are out now. So I've been told I have to stay upstairs now as the stairs are coming out. What'd you do? Come downstairs. <laughs> There's a drop off. Hopefully. Great. And that is only bloody perfect. Huh? Yeah. Should that be higher though? Should have got a taller one for the balustrade or is that an okay height? No. Not really. Oh no. Because the floor height, I put the floor height on the thing. It's hip height. That's no problem because you've got that piece. I am going to bake some banana muffins because David has been begging me to do it. Um, but it's been far too dusty because the boys, when they've been installing that steel, they've been like literally just below this kitchen. So I thought I would do it now. He's out with his dad at a job. Um, I forgot to mention, David's dad is a builder and David's been working with him for a long time. It's been really great because they can pretty much do everything themselves. We haven't had to get any trades in yet. We probably will at some point, but it, we've been very fortunate. I got a lot of um, baking things for my birthday from David's mum and I haven't been able to use a lot of them yet so it's quite nice to actually be able to use some of these things. I got these little muffin silicon things and this scale so I'm finally able to use them which is nice. I can't wait till we actually have our proper kitchen though. Um, it'll be so nice to finally cook in that and bake in it. We have decided though because we're kind of limited for time um, with David going away, he has to leave on the 15th of April. When they were taking out the steel, I mean, not taking out the steel, um, about to install the steel and they saw that there was dam on that back half of the, the room where the roof is pitched, they saw that all the joists and roof is pretty much damp and rotten and ruined. At some point, we would have to replace that roof because since we've opened up the kitchen, uh, we've rethought our kitchen design, so it was kind of a thing of do we just get everything done properly now while David's home and next time he's back install the kitchen or do we go with what we've already planned and rush the kitchen and install it in order to have it done. So we've decided we'll do everything properly, um, this time his home will just focus on getting that roof done um, and then next time we can work on the kitchen properly. So yeah, that's kind of what we've decided with that. I'll show you kind of the design that we're thinking about. Um, by the way, this phone, Samsung Note, has been great because it has a stylus in the bottom. So you can write on your floor plans and everything, which has been really great when we've been so indecisive or had an idea, we can kind of just scribble it on the plan and kind of visualize what it looks like. Nothing's to scale, we just kind of draw. Um, so let me show you what we were going to do, which I still quite like. Um, basically, uh, that would be our fridge, oven, and then a bit of and the cooker top and then here that would be uh, like a pantry and that was going to be a laundry with doors to that um, and then the sink there but now that we've opened it up we're thinking we can put a window there which would look onto the back garden which would be quite nice um, and let in a lot of natural light so I do like that idea because it has a pantry and a closed off laundry um, but a lot of you on my last video were saying that um, letting in natural light would be good. So this is the plan I think that we like the most. So basically a uh, washer dryer inside cupboards um, so it just blends in with the kitchen. Um, then the fridge, the oven and then the cooker top, a sink by the window looking out and that's where the dishwasher would be and then an island 
have wanted an island, but we haven't thought we could fit it. And I drew up another plan and I gave David the option and he actually said he preferred the one with the island. So I was very happy. That was the other design, pretty much the same, except instead of uh, the island, it went in a big U. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, which one you like better. Um, I think we both like the island idea the most. The only thing is we're gonna miss out on a pantry, but we'll have drawers and um, I wanna put open shelving above rather than having um, overhead cupboards. So hopefully, that will kind of cater for the pantry. Back to the baking. are cooking I'll just show you what's been happening downstairs yesterday um, we currently <laughs> cannot get downstairs without using a ladder so that's a bit fun a little bit scary not gonna lie <laughs> here we go I've got you around my neck right now so if I fall it's gonna be captured on camera that's currently how the stairs look Okay, I made it. Safe and sound. Now, as you can see behind me, as you walk in the door, the stairs are going the opposite way. So where the top of the steel is, we're gonna put a little wall down there, just as wide as the stairs, and fill it in, and put a little downstairs toilet in there. So yeah, the wall will come down there, and then we'll have a little toilet under there, hopefully. And then the stairs, you'll go up that way. We were a bit unsure about it at first, like, whether it would close in the space too much because the other one, when you walked in, it was quite open. But I quite like it like this. I like it with in the corner there. And yes, we'll have a little wall there, but um, it doesn't really close it off that much. Um, and we're still undecided about what to do with the hallway and the door, um, not the door, the wall here. So we don't know whether to make this a half wall keep it as a hallway because apparently lots of people like to have a hallway and it's a big deciding factor when they buy a house in the UK. I'm personally not too fussed, David's not too fussed on the hallway, um, he's even saying just knock the whole wall down and just go straight into the lounge room and just have this as all one big open space. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is a hallway important to a lot of people? Um, will it devalue the house? Apparently a hallway does add a lot of value. But yeah, um, our other thought was to make, see where that line is, make that a half wall and have a full wall to there and then put like wooden slat things there so it's still open but not like fully open because I feel like just a half wall would look a bit random so you need to like fill it with something. Um, but yeah, that's that. And then in the kitchen, Ooh. Yeah, walking around in slippers is probably not the best idea. That's um, the carcass of our <laughs> old stairs. So with that new design that I showed you, we'll be putting a window there, benches, sink along there, benches, full height, fridge, oven, and then washer dryer in this corner here behind cupboards. And then um, an island coming off around somewhere there, off, like off the wall. These are just like MDF stairs. I think that's what it is. Um, and we'll paint them. Uh, they're not like a proper wood that you leave as wood. They're designed to be painted. So I don't know what color yet. We'll probably paint them black or something. Might leave that as wood. I quite like it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Looking good and smelling good. Muffins are done. As you can see, some have already been eaten. David popped home to bring me lunch and of course took some banana muffins for the road and he said they were very yummy. So that's it for this week guys. Sorry it was a bit of a long one this time, but hopefully you enjoyed it. I just wanted to get everything in. Um, it was quite a busy week. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did and I'll see you next week. Bye.